European leaders meet today in Brussels to consider how to respond to the tragedy in Ukraine. Major Garrett is at the White House where the President is pushing for aggressive action against Russia. Major, good morning. Good morning. President Obama said the downing of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 should be a wake-up call in Europe. The United States will not impose any new economic sanctions on Russia unless Europe moves first. The European Union has set a deadline of July 31st to decide whether and how much to punish Russia for this airline disaster and its conspicuously messy aftermath. A frustrated President Obama said it's Russia's responsibility to discipline the ragtag militias still interfering with the Malaysian Airlines crash investigation. The burden now is on Russia to insist that the separatists stop tampering with the evidence, grant investigators who are already on the ground immediate, full and unimpeded access to the crash site. If not, the president warned of a new round of economic sanctions. Russia will only further isolate itself from the international community and the costs for Russia's behavior will only continue to increase. Russian President Vladimir Putin has heard tough talk from the West before. France said it will press ahead with a $1.6 billion sale to Russia of two advanced amphibious landing vessels. British Prime Minister David Cameron publicly denounced the sale. The EU will be ready to take further steps. For months, the White House has urged France to cancel it. The European Union meets today to consider sanctions on Russian energy, banking and arms industries. The gravity of the Malaysian Airlines catastrophe may change the calculus. Karen Donfried recently advised President Obama on European policy. You've had hundreds of EU citizens who had nothing to do with this conflict being killed in that shootdown. So there's no doubt that the discourse within the EU has changed. And this is the most serious conversation we've seen so far about moving to those sectoral sanctions. The questions for Europe are these. How much and how strongly will it confront Russia and how much of its own economic well-being will it put at risk on behalf of airline passengers, civilians killed suddenly in a faraway war now much closer to home?